Chinese scientists opened the Shenzhou 11 re-entry module in front of a crowd of media represent representatives. And during its month-long space mission, astronauts Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong carried out a series of experiments, and now it's time to see the results. CCTV's Han Peng reports. Opening the gate to an unknown world, the Shenzhou 11 re-entry module didn't just bring back the two astronauts, but also over a dozen experiment samples gathered during its month-long stay in space, orbiting the Earth with the Tiangong 2 space lab. Experiments included observing silkworms making cocoons in zero gravity and using cutting-edge quantum devices in harsh conditions of outer space. Full details of the experiments conducted and their results will be revealed in a later date. Yang Liwei, China's first man in space, attended the ceremony. In 2003, he spent 21 hours in orbit, making China the third country after the United States and Russia to send a person into space. When I was in space, I stayed in a very small re-entry module, just a few cubic meters. That's where I lived and worked throughout the mission. But this time, the astronauts stayed in space for a record 33 days and carried out a number of experiments. Over the past 13 years, China has made huge progress in manned space exploration. Last Friday, the re-entry module successfully landed in the Gobi Desert region of Inner Mongolia. This is Shenzhou 11. Landing was successful. Both 01 and 02 are in good condition. After the two astronauts came out of the capsule in good health, it was transported back to Beijing. So far, China has carried out six successful manned space missions. With the completion of the Shenzhou 11 mission, the country has taken a significant step toward establishing a permanent space station, a project which is expected to be realized by 2022. Now, it seems that everyone is so eager to take a picture with this re-entry module. And it's quite understandable, because even standing right in front of it, it's still kind of difficult to believe that it is just this small module that carried the two Chinese astronauts and dozens of experiment samples back to Earth and carried the dream of the mankind deep into space. And CCTV, Beijing.